In this week's episode of No One Is Watching Anyway, I'm in Flintshire on the hunt for two castles related to Edward I. The one he wanted, and the one he kind of just walked away from and left to fall into ruins. Up first is the black sheep of the castle family here in Wales. Found in here in Wepra Park in Flintshire. And the castle I'm here to try and find is Elu Castle. Elu? 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 Elulu? Elu Castle. Now, it's the black sheep of the castle family. Because A, no one really knows anything about it. And there's little to no records of its existence at all. And secondly, it doesn't really match the sort of signature castle you normally find in Wales. They're normally high up, great views. This, on the other hand, is in a valley and it's surrounded by trees. So it doesn't really match most of the other Welsh castles that I've already been to. So let's go and see what's special about this one. haven't actually mentioned already is that these two castles that I'm here to see today they do have historical importance one of which is even in a Shakespeare play but we'll get on to that in a bit Wherever I were to walk down now, it's mostly swamp, uninhabitable, unusable. What they've actually done is they've driven posts in and they've made like a floating boardwalk. So I'm going to go and have a walk along there. Park is lovely. Not not far from Chester. Just down the road from Queen's Ferry. It's got a car park and it's free. It's a really nice place for a walk. And who knew it had the castle? Well I did, otherwise we wouldn't be here. Right then, almost there. Now, the Welsh did give Ulo Castle some strategic importance because this was back in the time, cast your mind back. England and Wales constantly having a scrap. 
So because of its proximity to England, the Welsh did actually give Elo Castle strategic importance. But once it was taken by the English, they looked at it and went, yeah, we don't see the point in this. And they just left it to fall into ruin. So the Welsh thought it was amazing. The English thought, nah, I'll head down the road and I'll build one myself. Let's go and see why. Ulo Castle. Now, to be fair, it's in a little raised position. But there are things above it. It is an odd place to put a castle. And it took me a while to find it. So if you want to hide a castle, put it in Wepra Park. It'll take your enemies quite a while to find it. But it's easy to sneak up on you. Because I literally walked through the woods and then, poof, there's a castle. So I'm beginning to understand why the English got here, took it and went, defending this must be a nightmare. I mean, we took it. <laughs> so they jogged on. But we're here. Let's go and see what they saw. take a lot of time to build this one was built but Edward still looked at it and went no and he marched I assume he marched he probably rode a horse because he was a king but about an hour walk from here and I'm not walking here because I've got the car in the car park but an hour walk from here is Flint and that's where he chose to go and build a castle from scratch whilst still having argy bargy with the Welsh. Brave move, but it paid off for him for a while. So, quick water break. I'll go and see if there's another side to this. And then I'm going to bimble back through the rather lovely Wepra Park, get in my car, drive five minutes down the road to Flint, and then I'm going to go and visit the place that Edward chose to build a castle instead. And I think you'll find he did have his reasons. So I'll see you in a bit.
<laughs> well, that's quite impressive. How many castles go? As a tourist, it's rather interesting. And the views from it are absolutely beautiful. But back in the day when you needed a castle to protect yourselves and you needed views to see who was coming, I can't imagine these trees were any less dense back then. Um, maybe slightly smaller. But you can't see far. So I can, I'm can. i starting to understand why Adu just went, no, leave it, it's not worth it. But what is worth? A visit. Come and have a look. Ulo Castle. Brilliant. first castle to be built as part of Edward's campaign against the Welsh. It's uniquely designed. Started in 1277, completed around 1284, this castle has a unique tower in its southeast corner, with its own moat, own drawbridge, technically a small castle within a castle, a medieval panic room if you will, during a potential siege. 122 years on, Flint was also the setting to another important point of English history. It's where Richard II met with his cousin Henry, a scene captured in Shakespeare's Richard II. The crown basically swapped hands at this point. Henry escorted Richard to London, where he abdicated and died in captivity as his cousin became King Henry IV. It is said that it's Richard II's greyhound that knew the crown had changed hands because his dog that was always by his side actually ran and met Henry on his approach and stayed with him until then. And that's written in Shakespeare's play as well. I'll put that quote up. to see why he built here. That's England just over the way with a nice chunk of water in between so he could restock, replenish all his food, he could leave if he needed to, he could bring in reinforcements if he needed to. So this was the first one that he built of around six I think known as the Ring of Steel which I got future videos I think I'll go and track them down do them all but it was close to the water, could do what he wants.
about a castle within a castle, but it does come with its own moat. And you could hide here. I'm not entirely sure it'd be that comfortable, but if you're under siege, I imagine you'd be glad of it. castles, three kings. I gave you an Edward, I gave you Richard II and Henry IV. Just gonna chill with me mate for a bit and go home for a cup of tea. What's that? Oh yeah, he says, have you subscribed yet? See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.